Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Quilter. Today we are going to be continuing our work on reindeer crossing and you know what? I think we need to change something. Hold on, let's change it. Okay, that's better. If we're going to do Christmas in July, we might as well do it with a hat, right? Really get into the spirit of it. So, as I was telling you guys, last time I was working on the ears of the reindeer and had a bit of a misfortune with it. So I have corrected that. Let me show you here. So now instead of only having one ear, I have two ears. Okay, so now that we've got the ears of the reindeers done and I've got all 13 pairs of ears, we are going to start work on the antlers. All right, let's do this. So I'm just finishing up ironing these and I have made enough for all 13 deer so they're ending up looking like this and obviously they're going to um, be sewn together with some other pieces of it but it has been a bit of a long process so you know there's two pieces um, on each side for each Deer. So that's just a lot of pieces to sew together and as you can see they're pretty small so it's a lot of minute sewing. A lot of small sewing going on here and then a lot of small ironing. You know we're not ironing big swaths. So but making making progress nonetheless and that's what's important. I'm going to finish up this part and then I believe the next part is sewing all of these together and then I'll be working on I believe the nose of the deer or the reindeer as it were. Oh so I did have a bit of a I thought I'd messed up again whenever I had sewed all of these together. Now I hadn't cut them yet so it was still a mess up that was fixable but whenever I was ironing them all open because of the way that they are all angled. I thought I had sewn them all in like one direction. And I was so disheartened for like probably two minutes. And then I realized, no, no, it's okay. I did do it correctly. And I was like, oh, so happy that I did that. I was so relieved. So I was just so relieved that I had not actually messed it up. Um, so that's good. Also, um, my daughter came in early this morning whenever I was working on this piecing and I had my hat on just because, hey, I, I kind of like my hat. And um, also, you know, I should know what all I wanted to film or not film. And so she came in when she woke up from, from her from sleeping and um, came into into the room because she usually knows that I'm in here <laughs> and she saw my hat and she said why are you wearing that and I said oh you know I'm, I'm making a Christmas quilt I'm making a reindeer quilt isn't that cool and she, she I showed her the picture of the quilt and she said yeah that's cool and she said take that hat off so <laughs> I hope you guys like the hat more than than my daughter does um, I personally like it. I think actually it'll be really warm for for the winter time. So 
I enjoy it. I got it from an Etsy shop. Um, if you guys are wondering, I can link it below. Uh, they ha she has a lot of other hats. There were some hats that had like little um, flowers and stuff on it. They were really cool. So. Okay, so I have been sewing a lot of pieces here, and basically I've come up with, this is what's going to be one antler. So I have finished those, we're going to iron those and put that final block together, and let's see what that looks like. Okay, everybody, so I have completed all of the antlers. So now I've got antlers and I've got ears. Okay, so I have all of those parts of the block done. I promise I'm not trying to elongate this more than normal. I think the issue is that I decided to do all 13 reindeer blocks in one go rather than just making one block for you guys and we've had a little bit of change in lifestyle and that um, my daughter who used to take naps really religiously on my days off is transitioning out of those so I have lost a, a little bit of time for my sewing and Unfortunately, that means that it is taking me longer than expected to complete this block. So I hope that you guys are enjoying this part. The next part in this will be doing the eyes and the nose and then sewing the whole block together. I am hopeful that that's not going to take as long as the other parts have. This, is, this part was just a little bit fiddly, doing all of these individual blocks. It was honestly a little bit fiddly and took a little bit more time of just ironing all of those pieces and sewing all those little pieces together. So um, as always, I hope that you guys are enjoying this. You know, don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, we did just reach over 2,000 subscribers this past week and that just blows me away. It's so, so, so exciting. So thank you to all of you who have subscribed. If you're sitting on the fence and not sure if you want to subscribe, go ahead, hit the link down below and subscribe to the channel. Become part of our little community. And otherwise, have a great day, guys. And we'll see you next time on The Little Quilter. Thanks.